Hey there, I'm Allie. Today I'm here to share with you our top tips for running an effective Google Ads campaign. As you probably know, a Google Ads campaign is a paid digital advertising campaign that you run through Google Ads. What's great about it is that you can target different types of audiences through things like geography, people who have already visited your site, or people who are in the market for specific products on top of keywords, and that is just scratching the surface. With so many options, it can be really difficult to figure out where to start. So today we'll be talking about how you can run your Google Ads campaigns more effectively. Before doing anything else, the first thing you should do is set clear, quantifiable goals. Your goals should be realistic and attainable based on your budget and your business. As part of your goal setting, determine which types of actions on your site you would like a visitor to take. For example, if you're a lead gen focused business, you could set your goals as X number of contact form submissions or Y number of white paper downloads at a profitable cost per lead for your business. If your website typically generates about 50 leads per month, it's probably unrealistic to expect your Google Ads campaigns to generate a thousand leads per month. Maybe instead, try setting your goals to be something challenging, but more within reach. Next, set up a clear campaign and ad group structure. You can think of campaigns as your main product or service lines, and then ad groups as specific products or services within those. Then keywords fall within your ad groups. One easy way to set up your campaign structure would just be to follow your site structure. An example of this would be if you are a clothing retailer, you could have a campaign for sweaters and ad groups for cardigans and pullovers, and then keywords within each of those ad groups relating to those specific products. Pro tip, break out your individual campaigns by geography, audience, or other categories for better budget allocation. Next, understand your audience and target them appropriately. Do extensive keyword research using tools like Google's Keyword Planner or typing keywords directly into Google. Tailor your experience from the beginning of a customer's journey, from their search to your landing page. You should be delivering a consistent message. Tailor your ads and your landing pages to the keyword. Lastly, use audience targeting or RLSA and adjust bid based on the value of the audience. Remember when I mentioned actions that you'd like potential visitors to take on your site? Set up conversion tracking to make sure you're measuring these actions. Later, you can target people who have converted on your site in different ways, such as changing bids or delivering tailored ad copy. For example, if you're in e-commerce and you're tracking conversions, you can retarget someone who has already made a purchase on your site with a new promotion, or you can retarget someone who has abandoned their cart and maybe with a higher bid. Next, test multiple ad copy variations. Set up your test in a measurable way. Try testing one or two variables so you know exactly what's working and exactly what's not. Then, analyze and iterate every few months. Pro tip, always test variations equally. Test two options against two options. Never just test one very different variation. Next, implement negative keywords and or negative categories or placements. Review your search query reports and your placement reports regularly so you know exactly where you're spending your money. Avoid spending budget on irrelevant queries or low quality sites. All right, that's it for me today. I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and leave any questions for me in the comments. Ding.